Hey friends, this is Atif for Pure Well and welcome to the new update on Ethereum Classic Coin. My last idea that I shared with you about the Ethereum Classic was uh, this big bullish shark pattern that was formed on the two-day chart back in April 2020. And I told you that the price action has completed this final leg of the bullish shark and from here it can turn bullish. And I, I was expecting up to 384% big bullish move. Now I'm just going to play this chart. You can see at that time it was at $5.16 and it has rallied up to $15. So this is more than 190% big bullish rally so far. Now, if we take a look at the live daily chart, uh, but before starting the analysis, I would, uh, I would request you if you did not subscribe to my channel so far, then do subscribe it and do hit the bell icon as well. So uh, you would be notified about my uh, new uploaded videos and if you would like to support me on the Patreon, then I have also shared the link in the video's description you can find there. Now on the daily chart, we can see that the price action after this rally up to $15, yeah, it has retraced up to this exponential moving average, the daily exponential moving average 21. And so far after this rally from this low to this high, you can see that it has retraced up to uh, 6, uh, 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level that is the golden ratio and from here the price line can start the next bullish rally if this ema21 won't be broken down now i would like to take you to the long term monthly chart and here we can see that at this time the price line is moving below the ema10 the exponential moving average 10 and exponential moving average 21 and since we have received this death cross or bear cross between these two emas uh, in the month of uh, January uh, 2019. Uh, since then, we did not receive again the golden cross or bull cross uh, between these two EMAs. So we need this EMA 10, this blue one, to cross up this EMA 21 on the monthly chart. And if I remove this price action from here, then you can see that the EMA 10 is likely to form a bull cross with, uh, with the EMA 21. Once we will receive this bull cross on the monthly chart, that will be the big confirmation that now the price action is going to start a very, very big, massive bullish rally. And uh, this is the point where, uh, where the price action has formed a wedge pattern. Uh, let me just show you this one. Uh, here we can see that the price line has formed this wedge pattern and this is the resistance and this is uh, the support of this wedge and these are the simple moving averages previously we were looking at the exponential moving averages these are the simple moving averages with the time period of 50 and 25 and we can see that the 25 simple moving average is crossing down uh, the price action and once it will be completely crossed down, then it can lift the price action to the upside and easily it can, the price action can bre break out this resistance of the wedge and also can break out this 50 simple moving average resistance as well. Now, uh, I would like to show you this move. This is not as that much perfect bullish shark move that we have uh, seen recently here. Uh, when the price action formed on the two-day chart that was a perfect bullish shark move but here we have some extra spikes you can see that this is the initial leg then it is retraced between 0.382 to 0.618 then it is projected between a uh, point uh, 1.13 to 1.618 but here we have uh, so many long spikes so i'm just ignoring these spikes because all the legs are driven as uh, per requirement of the bullish shark move like here it has retraced between 0.886 to 1.13 Fibonacci retracement level. Therefore, I have ignored these extra spikes. And here you can see that where this 0.886 Fibonacci retracement level starts, uh, that is approximately $3.44. Here, the price line has found a very, very strong support level, and it is not breaking down this level. You can see that uh, the price action is just hitting the spikes in this potential reversal zone up to uh, 0.886 Fibonacci retracement level and it is moving up. Now from here we can expect a bullish divergence because this is a really very big bullish shark move behaving like a shark move even though yeah, there we have some extra spikes as well but overall it is behaving like a shark move and it has found a very strong support here in this potential reversal zone and we can expect that this is uh, the last this can be the last support for the price line because uh, it, it is not able to break down the support since November 2018. It's just hitting the spikes 
at this level. Now, if we switch to the uh, short term, the shorter than the monthly chart, even though this is also the long term weekly chart, uh, then we can see that uh, here I have placed the uh, uh, simple moving averages with the time period of 100 and 200. And this is the Bollinger Band, this green one. And you can see that the Bollinger Band is, is creased while it is in the potential reversal zone above the potential reversal zone of this big bullish shark move. And it is also moving in this wedge pattern as well. So we can see that at the same time, the price line at the Bollinger Band is also getting squeezed. So it is a clear signal that there can be a very, very big bullish move or a bearish rally to the downside. I'm expecting a bullish move because we have a very good support of 100 simple moving average as well on the weekly chart. And uh, we have already seen that even on the monthly chart, the 25 simple moving average is crossing down the price line. So I'm expecting that here from here, the price line can start a very strong bullish move. And you can see that the Bollinger Bands uh, is expanding and we we have a, this last resistance that is very strong resistance of the 200 simple moving average on the weekly chart. So we need to break out this level, this 200 simple moving average. And uh, we also need to break out this Ichimoku bearish cloud as well. It's at this time, uh, in almost all altcoins, the Ichimoku bearish cloud is working as a very, very strong indicator to give us the signal whether the price line is going to start the bullish or bearish rally. Now here, I've placed on the weekly chart the Ichimoku bearish cloud and we, we can see that uh, it was working as a very strong resistance for the long time period and now it is working uh, as a weak resistance because it has turned weak. So this is a really very good opportunity for the price line of Ethereum Classic to break out this resistance of the Ichimoku cloud. Here we have a very very good volume spike uh, like we had here and previously we had a volume spike here after that uh, we had some uh, selling volume as well, and that was the retracement, in, in fact. And then we had some follow through of the buying volume and the price action broke out the Ichimoku cloud. And if the same thing will happen again, we will have some follow through of the buying volume. Then the price action can easily break out this Ichimoku cloud. I'm expecting that in this rally, after this retracement, uh, somewhere from this level, it can start the next bullish rally to the upside. And this is the directional movement index indicator. And we can see that this is uh, the positive directional line that, it, that represents the bulls. And this orange one is the negative directional line that represents the bears. So at this time, we can see that this uh, blue line has crossed up this orange line. And we also have this ADX, it, it is moving up, that is representing the power of bulls at this time. If we would have this orange line above this blue line, then this ADX would be showing the power of bears. But at this time, we have the this bullish line above this orange line. Therefore, uh, at this time, the ADX is moving to the upside. That is showing the power of bulls is getting increased. And the RSI is completely in uptrend. Like yeah, from here up to this level, we can see that RSI is moving to the upside, especially if we place it in this way. And we can see that it has completely turned bullish. So I'm expecting that uh, soon we will have a, a powerful bullish divergence and it it can break out this bearish cloud. And if this bear, bullish rally will be uh, started from here, then we can find the first resistance, the price level resistance. We Even though we have the 200 simple moving average resistance on the weekly chart as well. But if we talk about the price level resistance, then we can have the first price level resistance here. That, that is somewhere around $13. Then the second uh, resistance on, on the long-term weekly chart, we can have uh, somewhere here. That is around somewhere $22. Then it can move to the $50. That can be our first destination after this rally. And definitely I will post more updates when this rally will be started. And I hope that you have liked the video, then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well. And if you would like to support me on the Patreon, then I have also shared the link in the video's description. And definitely you will also find a lot more other uh, trading ideas there. Take care. Goodbye.